Now, you've probably been hearing a lot about quantum computing in the news recently in regards to the company D-Wave out of Vancouver, who claims to have invented a quantum computer that they're selling for millions of dollars, including to Google and also to NASA, our space agency. However, IBM, the founders of much of this quantum computing technology, is seems to be very skeptical of D-Wave's claims. Now, is this um, skepticism um, a result of competing for market share, wanting to be the first ones on the scene, or is the technology really not up to par yet to claim a quantum computer? IBM is saying that the classical models for the D-Wave machine are not ruled out, meaning that D-Wave may have a lot of characteristics of a conventional computer as opposed to a quantum computer. The basis of quantum computing are not binary bits or zeros and ones, but quantum bits, meaning that not only do we calculate with just zero and one, but we can calculate zero and one simultaneously. The idea of calculating zero and one as one value is called superposition. And electrons can be at the same place at once. Two or more electrons can be at the same place at once. Okay, that's also called superposition. And here we see an image of a superconducting qubit mounted on a chip. Again, the qubit is the quantum computing unit. According to this article in Popular Science, quantum computing engineers can isolate the two oscillating frequencies into the classical zero and one binaries. And then they can use that information in, in problem solving. At its core, quantum computing is atomic engineering implemented between superconductive materials with an oscillating elect electrical current.